All right, let this be an example to anybody out there who wants to make games. Don't ever ask your Discord server for a game idea. I mean, what the heck is a rat FPS? So I started by making this little rat guy. Now every frame of the game, the rat records your exact position in the world. Your location, rotation, scale, mass, BMI, social security, account balances. In every frame of the game, the rat goes to each of those places in order. I tried adding a bunch of rats already, and this had me thinking I was making Slither.io in 3D again. <laughs> I created a new script that would make a new position around the player for every rat. So now all these rats were distributed around you in a circle of some kind. Honestly, at this point in the project, I had no idea where to go. I mean, to be fair, what the heck is a rat FPS parkour racing game? Come on, Discord. So I started adding these platforms that would constantly fall down. And the idea was that the player would have to jump up to avoid these massive cars that were barreling towards you and your little rats. And it, it, was, it was coming along pretty well, but it just sucked. And I hated it. In fact, it hadn't been coming along pretty well. That's just what I told myself to stay motivated. I realized it was time to give up on my dream of learning game development and go back to reading books. But just as I was about to delete my YouTube channel, I got an idea. What if there were no platforms? What if the cars were the platforms? I rebuilt the scene into a long road and I added curves and dirt on both sides of the road. Now I needed to make it look like you were moving really fast. So using some basic UI images, I created road lines and wrote a script to spawn and move them down the road. I also made them fade in by scaling them up so they didn't just appear out of nowhere. I could tell the illusion was working because I started getting so dizzy watching these things move down the road. But it wasn't enough. I made this tree and a rock and reused those same scripts to make it look like they were flying by really quick. It was perfect. And I knew that anybody dumb enough to play my game would have no idea what was actually moving in the scene. So I started building the car. And again, I was able to just reuse the other scripts. But I also gave the car generator skip the ability to have as many colors as I could possibly think of. It's just too bad that I can't think of that many colors. I probably didn't need to write all that code. Now I tried making the cars speed up as the game goes along, and I accidentally created a super satisfying illusion. But eventually I got it dialed in, and I added back the player, and it was actually so fun jumping from car to car. So then I added back in the rats, and I made the scoring based on how many rats land on each car. So the only way to score is keeping as many rats alive as you can. Now at this point, I, I knew something was missing. And of course that thing that was missing is, uh, I mean, it's always blood. So yeah. I admit I may have gone too far. But now the game felt complete. I added in the post-processing and it was time. But before I show the gameplay, this is a tiny channel with only 1,200 subscribers. So if you're interested, subscribe and join the Discord so you can help me make my next game. Alright, here's some gameplay.